fun video. We are going to be doing a waterproof and sweat proof makeup look that's perfect for summer. A lot of you guys have been asking for this. You know, if you're going to a pool party or to the beach and you're not comfortable going completely bare skinned, um, or you know, on those like sticky, icky, gross days where you just need your makeup to stay on, a lot longer, you know, because you've got the sweaty face going on. So that is why I've got my bikini top on, um, because at the end of the video, we are gonna be doing a live water test. Oh my God. <laughs> at the very end, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. So first I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is a new one by MAC and it is indeed waterproof. Now you don't need to use this just if you're going to the pool or the beach. You can also use this just on regular days where you think you're going to be sweating a lot. It does have a lighter texture, like it feels light on, but it really stays put. And I am gonna be using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer because I feel like this one just lasts longer. Like it's a little bit heavier, but it doesn't feel heavy on. It just lasts longer underneath the eyes because it is meant to be a full coverage concealer. So it just adheres um, nicely to the skin. Now I'm going to set everything with the Pro Longwear Pressed Powder. This is also by MAC. This is a really nice mattifying powder, so if you are going to get greasy or whatever throughout the day, this is a really good powder to eliminate the oiliness. Now for the eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade because this again lasts longer. It's meant to really stay put on the eyebrows and I do actually have a whole video that I did recently on how I do my brows. This is a slightly um, variation of that video. I will link it below. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aquamatic Pen. This is like a cream eyeshadow in a stick form that sets. Like you apply it just like a stick, it's so easy, you still have enough time to blend it out with a brush. But then when it sets, it really sets. Like it is on there, it is staying put. Um, so they're really waterproof, they're a really great option to use. And then you don't actually even need to top it with powder eyeshadow because it looks really nice as is. Then I'm going to use the Cole Hypnose Waterproof Pencil in a brown shade. This is by Lancome. And this is a really great pencil that is, again, one of those pencils that kind of sets. Like it's creamy and easy to apply, so you still have enough time to blend it out with a brush. But then when it sets, it is on there. So this is these are really great pencils by Lancome. And I'm also applying this on the tight line, just on the inner corner. Um, of my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Pencil in a blue color because I just want a nice sort of pop of color on the lower lid. These are also waterproof pencils that set. So I'm applying that on the lower lash line, um, blending that out, and then also applying it into the waterline. As you can see, I'm working a lot with pencils here because those just set much better than using powdered eyeshadows. For eyeliner, I'm using the Illamasqua Precision Ink in the shade Abyss. This is a super, super waterproof liquid liner. It's a little bit tricky to apply with this pointed brush, but once it's on there, it really does stay. It stands up against water. I've used this previously, and it's a very, very waterproof liquid liner. For mascara today, I'm using the MAC Haute and Naughty Waterproof Lash. This is also the same mascara that I wore on my wedding day, so I'm going to apply that to the top and bottom lashes. Now to do a little bit of sculpting and contouring and all that good stuff, I'm going to use this cream product by MAC. This is in a bronze color um, because I don't want to use powders because powders are going to um, wash off more easily and they're also going to sweat off. So I'm using a sponge to apply that to give myself a bit of a bronzy glow. Now this one does have a little bit of a sheen to it. So if you want um, something that's really matte, like if you get greasy, use something that's more matte finish. I'm also using a cream product as a highlighter, this is also by MAC. I'll have, again, all the products with all the details and stuff listed below this video, so make sure to check the info bar. I just find that creams last longer, especially if you're sweating or if you are going to the pool. 
For the lips, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. This is a lip liner in a bright orange color that is again waterproof. As you can see, there's a lot of waterproof products and this one really works. Um, it's a beautiful color and it really stays put. So I'm going to line my lips and fill them all in with that lip pencil. Then I topped it with the Rouge Edition 12 Hour Lipstick by uh, Bourjois in that sort of same orangey color. And this lipstick is meant to last a really long time, so it's not super, super creamy. It's meant to be more like a matte wearing lipstick. Then for blush, I'm using a cream blush by Bobbi Brown, and um, I just wanted to apply that with the tips of my fingers. It kind of helps to work the product in, and it looks really, really natural and also lasts a really long time. So that's the final look. Now let's put these products through the ringer and do a water test and let's see if they stand up to the force of a bucket of water. <laughs> guys so I'm back in from the water test and um, the only place where I feel like it's really kind of budged is the blue and that is really my own fault because I did take some pictures right before the water test and the blue I just put some powder eyeshadow on top just to make it look more vibrant but that is something that I definitely wouldn't do I wouldn't use um, powdered eyeshadows if you're gonna be going swimming so that was really my own fault but everything else especially the foundation the mascara and the the eyeshadow here on the top has all completely stayed in place and um, also the blush and the highlighter and all that has really stayed in place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked the water test and thought it was funny. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!